So here's a video on how to reclaim 18650 batteries from old laptop battery packs. This one's made by IBM and it's bad. So let's get to opening it. It is currently discharged and we can measure that if you look right here it says negative and positive and we will try that and as you can see zero voltage and just to make sure we will check a good battery and you can see the meter is working so Pretty much you just find a seam and carefully start cracking. Hopefully without cutting yourself. Sometimes you can just apply pressure at the seams to find a way in. Like that. Now, these batteries tend to have a charging circuit or a uh, monitoring circuit in here, so you'll want to be careful if you're trying to save that board. You can kind of see the circuit board there on the corner there. Ooh, these are the good ones. These purple color ones have been pretty good for me in the past. So I've got one of these purple ones in the past and I load test them at 0.65 amp hours and uh, or sorry I load them at 0.65 amps while I test them and this one put out 2.1 milliamp hours which is pretty good and uh, this was a reclaim from a, a pack and you can see it looks like these are the same brands here And these I got from another pack and it could be that pack was just old but these only put out about 0.9 amp hours instead of the 2.1 that the other one did so wasn't as happy with these these look good so we'll see how these turn out so again it's better if you do this on a pack that's discharged uh, otherwise you got to be real careful not to um, short out any of the batteries so we'll bring the meter back here and just for fun let's see if these batteries have any if any of these cells have voltage on them so 0 0.7 there 0 0.7 there 0 0.7 there 0.3 there so it looks like they're all pretty dead so, we will go ahead and take these guys out, just like that, discard the case. Now theoretically, you could get you some new batteries and rebuild this pack if you wanted to use it for a laptop, but uh, you could see it's kind of a pain in the butt. You can buy pretty decent replacement batteries for your laptop online. Uh, without having to go through all this trouble, but these are great for scavenging batteries for flashlights and things like that. I imagine you could probably use these in one of your those vaping uh, things. I don't vape, so I don't know about that. So, so what we do is we just cut the batteries out like so.
Kind of a pain sometimes. My cutters aren't the best either. Sometimes what you can do is kind of like opening an old sardine can. You just grab that end and twist. And you can pull the terminal off. This thing right here is a little temperature sensor that the battery pack uh, senses the battery temperature when it's charging so that if it starts to overheat it will power it. It will cut the power to it so that you don't have your laptop battery explode on you or catch fire or any of those other not fun things. And I'm just going to keep working these batteries. There's one that's been liberated. And here's another one. Easy enough to liberate. Now what they do is, in case you're wondering, they spot weld these batteries together because it's very hard to solder on the ends of these things. So they spot weld these batteries. So what they do is they take the battery like this, they put this little metal tab and then they have a spot welder that spot welds it to the battery. And when you peel these off, when, when you come in here and you, you, you rip these little things off, if you look, I don't know if you can see that, but it leaves some really sharp edges on there and what I do is I either pick them off with the nip them off with the cutters or I'll put them on the table and mash them flat and you could see on the bottom there maybe there's some other ones that are there and again you just nip them off or just mash them down flat so they don't get you don't cut you so there's two liberated I'm gonna pull the tape off that one need the tape that one's got a little one little mash down so there's two that we just liberated and you can find these batteries around sometimes friends or relatives will give you old laptops or give you old laptop batteries that they can't use anymore maybe you could go scam them from Best Buy or something out of the battery reclaim pile it's really sad because some of these cells are really good and it's nice if they could be hopefully somebody's recycling these maybe these are the maybe they recycle them and that's what people are selling on eBay or something it's recycled cells from packs like this Again, we'll just keep peeling these off one by one. And again, this is much easier when the pack has been discharged. You really don't want to. It's a lot more trouble when they haven't been discharged because you can't be as careless as I am here because you would short these out and if they're the cells are any good they're gonna have quite a bit of power oh these cells are also used not just in flashlights but they're used in little uh, USB chargers so if you have a small uh, USB power bank um, that you get you'll notice that the small power banks are about that size and that's because they have one of these cells in them and if you buy a power bank like that, it might have two of these cells in it with some charging circuits. So if you had a cell like a, a charger like this that you had paid money for and it no longer charges, you could open it up and probably replace the old cells or the bad cells in here with some of these. Also, you can go on Chinese websites and you can buy the little charger devices without batteries for a couple of bucks and then you get some of these batteries and now you have a USB charger relatively cheap.
and one that you can carry extra batteries around and uh, get more capacity out of it or more charges from it. So there's another one. And it has, these batteries were glued together with hot glue or some kind of adhesive so later on I'll carefully uh, scrub the adhesive off so that it fits in my flashlights or other devices that I'm going to use these batteries for. just taking time to liberate the batteries. You could be enterprising and reuse this charging circuit and it's kind of neat. It actually, um, you can actually communicate with this board and read some of the charge information and the capacity information as well as the voltage and temperature of the batteries. That's what the laptop uses to to figure out how much longer you have for to use your laptop on the battery and how much charge you have left on the battery. Because that's the same thing. Alright. So now let's bring let's get rid of all this garbage. Here. Let's line all these guys up. And let's give them a quick test. So we've got these should be 4.2 volts when they're fully charged and ready to go. That one's really dead, so he may be bad. That one's really dead, so he may be bad. Totally dead, totally dead. Let's see, 0.7 volts. So he might be good. 0.7 volts. Totally dead. I'm going to move him down to the totally dead pile. Where was I? That one point seven. That one point seven. This one totally dead. And that one totally dead. So we got two point sevens. So I'm going to put a black mark on these. I'm going to put a red mark on these other ones because I'm not sure if they're going to come back. So, I will put these in my charger and see if they are any good. <laughs> 